The cycle notation for permutations in the symmetric group can get very difficult when we start composing permutations. For example, if we first take this triangular lattice of numbers and rotate it clockwise, and then take the first and second original positions and swap them, we end up with a new permutation. And looking at the, from the first to the last, it's really easy to see what the cycle notation should be. It's just two and three switched. But what if we were asked to solve this problem without the benefit of the diagram? What if we were only given the cycle notation? How would we work out the problem then? All right, so which permutation does the composition give us? Well, we're going from right to left because of the composition. And starting with one, let's see, we go from one to two and then two to three. And then when we compose, there's no three over here, so three is fixed. So we can just write one to three. Then looking over here at three, three goes to one, which goes to two. Composing it, we see two goes to one. So three goes to one, which is what we have here, so we can close it. And you can see that we don't have to write two, since two goes to three goes to one, and then one goes to two, so two stays the same. So we don't need to write it. So if we compose these two permutations, which permutation do you get? Okay, one goes to two, and two goes to three, so one goes to three, and then here, three is fixed, and then three goes back to one. So we can close this, and then here in the first one, two goes to one, and one goes back to two, so two is fixed. So the one, two, and the one, two cancel, so the three is left? One, three. One, three. Now let's see what happens if we give them this picture. Well, looking at the original with the final, only, only two and three are switched. So it's two, three. It's 2, 3. Oh, it's 2, 3. It's 2, 3. Ah, 2, 3. So why do the students get 1, 3 without the diagram and 2, 3 with the diagram? Most students don't properly understand how the cycle notation works, and many have a misunderstanding of the right to left convention for function composition. So let's see how it actually works here. If we want to know what happens to the number 1 when we apply the permutation 1, 2, 3, we put 1 in. To the, to the function machine, which takes 1 as an input on the right and outputs its value on the left. And here, 1 is sent to 2. Not 1 goes to 2 goes to 3. 1 goes to 2. So the 1 goes into the function and the 2 comes out. And now, in the second one, 2 goes in and 1 comes out. So in total, 1 has actually gone back to itself. So 1 is fixed. Now we can try 2. 2 goes into the first function machine, it sends 2 to 3. 3 goes into the next function machine, which doesn't do anything to 3. 3 is fixed, it does not appear in the cycle notation. So in total, 2 is sent to 3. So we can start to write down our answer. We know that 2 is going to get sent to 3. Now let's check 3. So 3 goes into the first permutation, and 3 is sent to 1. So 1 comes out on the left, and now 1 goes into the second permutation, and 2 comes out. So in total, 3 is sent to 2. And so we can close our cycle. And so this is how we can figure out, with any composition of cycles, how the permutation will work.
All right, so in this one, we, we want to start with the number one, and one is fixed here, but then the one goes to three here, and the three goes back to one. So overall, the one stays in the same place it's fixed. And then the two goes to the four here, and then it's fixed here, because a no, four doesn't appear, and then the four goes to three. So our two ends up resulting in three, so it goes from two to three. Um, the next one we want to look at is 3 because it's right here. So 3 stays fixed here and then the 3 goes to 2 here and then it's fixed here. So 3 ends up going to 2. So this is one part of it. And next let's just keep going up and we'll look at 4. 4 goes to 5 here and then 5 ends up going to 1 here and 1 goes to 6 here. So overall our 4 goes to 6. And because we have 6 here we're going to keep going with the six we've got no six here so we'll leave or so six is fixed and then the six is fixed here too but here the six ends up going to four so it goes right back to four and those don't change at all and next we'll try five because that's right after four and we haven't done that one yet five ends up going to seven here and then it stays fixed here and it stays fixed here so it ends up at seven and then the seven goes to 2, and the 2 ends up going to 5, and then it's fixed here. So 7 goes back to 5. Multiplying cycles isn't difficult, but it does take practice. Download and work through the problems available at the link on the show notes. Good luck, and happy permuting.